That's great. Now, you use a, a tagline, get smart, get paid, and get ahead. Um, how many scholarship recipients have earned degrees to date, and what types of jobs are they working in uh, within the Department of Defense? We have about 270 students that have graduated from the program. We have um, almost 800 in the program at this time. Uh, they, they work in a variety of jobs in the civilian um, defense workforce, um, science and technology, engineering jobs. PhD students, when, when they finish their PhD, typically work in traditional research-related positions. Undergraduates and students who have finished their master's degree sometimes will work more technology-type posi tech positions or um, traditional engineering fields. So we're talking about Navy laboratories, um, possibly even institutions like the Naval Postgraduate School. Um, there are also Army laboratories. Do your graduates yeah. go into those? Yes, we have students at approximately 140 um, DOD sites throughout the country in laboratories and um, what we call systems commands, places where they, they do a lot of hands-on engineering work. Yeah, the Air Force Research Labs at Eglin and Dayton and Kirtland Air Force Base. And so they're geographically all over the country, uh, Army, Navy, Air Force, and what are called Defense Department agencies, National Security Agency, a lot of mathematicians and cryptographers and things that um, the DOD, the Defense Department needs. So it's all throughout the science, mathematics, engineering workforce. Uh, some sustainment centers where they do aircraft maintenance and repair and they need engineers to look at structural failures, et cetera. So we have a lot of diversity in the program, uh, degree level, but also geographically they can go work all over the place. Uh, Army Corps of Engineers uh, has, uh, is really picking this up and I think they're located in all 50 states, so it's a quite a lot of opportunities for people to go work all over the country. When you said earlier that there are, are about a hundred thousand scientists and engineers uh, in these various Department of Defense, Navy, Army, Air Force, uh, DOD laboratories and, and facilities, uh, I found that a very striking number. I did not realize it was we had quite that many people in the scientific, professional scientific workforce within DOD? Uh, yes. Uh, in fact, if you just look at job categories, it would be higher, nearly 200,000, but some of our uh, investigations would show that a lot of those would be managers and not lab top and field engineers where we're really putting people in. So there looks like there are about 100,000 jobs out there, which if you had a standard 5% turnover rate, that means you'd need five, 6,000 people a year to fill that in. Um, demand recently has been much higher than that, uh, despite the rest of the economy not doing very well. Very strong hiring in the defense civilian uh, sector. Good motivation for a young student today to apply themselves in science and mathematics. Uh, very much so. Uh, a few years ago, people were wondering if uh, this type of program, which is something um, akin to ROTC for people going to the military, a uh, scholarship for service where they would be committed, obligated to go work, uh, people thought, well, maybe students, young people in college didn't want things that planned out. But it turns out in an uh, economy where it's hard to find jobs, that's quite a selling point to have a job when you're done. Kind of put your mind at ease at the end of your uh, senior year, you know where you're going. Well, it would, and it would seem that the scholarship program itself helps to keep the student from digging a deep uh, hole of indebtedness while they're doing their studies. SMART is um, almost a full-ride scholarship. We pay full tuition and a very generous living allowance, and the hope is that this, these particular students can continue to focus almost exclusively on their academic work and not have to worry about the financial um, drag that a lot of student loans. Um, Your tagline is a good one, get smart, get paid, and, and get ahead. I like that. Well, you're about to conduct an orientation and showcase program 
here in Monterey, I believe for about 300 smart scholarship students. Are all of, are these students who are in your new cohort for 2010-2011 academic year? And if they are, what are they doing for this orientation program this week? Um, every year we bring our new awardees, our new cohort, um, to Monterey for several days to both tell them a little bit more about the, about the program that they've entered. It's not a typical scholarship program. There's this service commitment on the back end. We want to make sure that they're fully informed about what that entails and that they have an opportunity to ask questions. The other thing we like to do is bring them together with their future employers. In addition to those 300 students, we have about 200 representatives from across the department.